SGI members around the world participate in a variety of cultural, social and educational activities that are an expression of common humanity and demonstrate a commitment to social responsibility and the promotion of world citizenship. To be a world citizen does not mean that you have to give up your religion, your ethnicity, your uh, nationality and so on. It means that you have to assume responsibility, global responsibility, and to understand what is going on in the world. For SGI members, faith, practice and study are the three interdependent yet vital elements of their Buddhist practice. The daily practice consists of reciting a portion of the Lotus Sutra and chanting Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo to activate the Buddha nature and create happiness and value for oneself and other people. Studying the writings of Nichiren, both alone and in groups, helps members to understand the principles of Buddhism and how to apply them to contemporary life. Faith involves taking action and it's important for members to see actual proof that Buddhism is working in their day-to-day -day lives. SGI members consider that sharing the philosophy and practice of Buddhism with others is a compassionate act. Inner spiritual transformation, or human revolution, is the focus of an SGI member's Buddhist practice. Kosi Kubeka is currently studying for her doctorate at a university in the United States. The social and educational system Kosi was born into in South Africa deliberately discouraged black people from pursuing their goals. Growing up in Soweto in the 1980s, like this was the height of apartheid when things were so much in upheaval, chaotic really, I ended up having a sense of powerlessness and low self-esteem. But at the same time, I did have the ambition to succeed and I saw myself as someone who was successful in the future, educated, because education is the key really. Being born in that kind of an oppressive environment, you feel like this is your destiny and this is also something that was ingrained by you know, people around you that you, know, you just need to accept your circumstances because this is what you were meant to be. Kosi decided to take responsibility for her situation. When I started practicing, then I realized that, okay, there are so many possibilities. I can do anything I want, and my life is in my hands, so that means I have to take responsibility for myself. So that was very empowering to me. Battling with her negative internal beliefs played a major part in Corsi's human revolution. It felt like I had two voices. One that said that, now, who do you think you are? You're just a girl from Soweto. You should just accept your destiny because this is what you were meant to be. But then on the other hand, this burning desire to, you know, to feeling, feeling that I'm capable of more, I can do more with my life, I can create value, was also powerful. Life is about struggling. Um, so you just have to decide when, you know, whether you are going to win or lose. And that's what this practice has taught me, that you have the power to decide. I plan to go back to South Africa to teach at the university, but um, also my greatest desire is to go back and inspire other people who come from the same place that I come from, and I'm looking forward to that. I think the Buddhist message in the SGI of cultivating with as much fervor and passion and dedication and discipline as we can, our own self-awareness, that self-awareness is going to lead to what I think is the greatest glory of, of Buddhism, and that is compassion. Sue Yeadon works for the English National Health Service as part of a small team that supports people in her community with the HIV virus. Sue's involvement in this area began 20 years ago when she met a young woman with the virus. What she needed was encouragement and compassion rather than people reacting, you know, with, with fear and horror and, and dread. Um, and so I decided that the only way I could overcome my own fear and prejudice was to find out more about it. I remember thinking that as a Buddhist, you know, 
it was time that I started to do something really meaningful in society that would make a difference somehow. Over the last two years, Sue's work has taken her to Africa, where she visits children hospitalized with the virus. When we first arrived in those hospitals, there were no children on treatment. And certainly in one of the hospitals, they have nearly 100 children on treatment now. If I hadn't started practicing Buddhism, I don't think that I would have been able to develop my compassion or my courage or my or wisdom in the way that I've been able to. SGI is committed to making a difference. All its activities are based on the compassionate desire to relieve suffering and make an active contribution to society. Projects and awareness-raising activities initiated at local and community levels encourage people to feel a sense of connection to global issues such as disarmament and sustainable development. As a non-governmental organization affiliated to the United Nations, SGI believes that, despite its flaws, the UN has the potential to effect a positive change in the world. One of the ways that uh, SGI tries to bring people's voices back to the UN is through SGI President Daisaku Ikeda's annual peace proposals. He's been issuing peace proposals over 20 years. And these proposals have been reflected in UN initiatives such as the World Program for Human Rights Education. We have also conducted petition drives for abolition of nuclear weapons and presented the signatures of millions of ordinary citizens to the UN. In the public domain, as a non-governmental organization, SGI has launched educational campaigns and created a range of international exhibitions that promote human rights, peace and disarmament. Every year, thousands are killed, injured and displaced in the wake of natural disasters such as tsunamis, hurricanes and earthquakes. SGI has mounted numerous relief programs for war refugees and victims of environmental and climatic disasters. SGI supports the Earth Charter movement, which is working towards the establishment of a sustainable and peaceful world. A proposal initially put forward by SGI representatives for an international decade of education for sustainable development gathered international support and was eventually adopted by the UN General Assembly in 2002. In support of this educational initiative, SGI has created Seeds of Change, an exhibition that highlights how each person can make a difference. In the Amazon Basin in Brazil, where there is an urgent need to promote reforestation and sustainable development, SGI has set up the Amazon Environmental Conservation Center. In response to the tragic Columbine High School massacre in Colorado, SGI USA's Youth Peace Committee launched a Victory Over Violence campaign. Culture festivals and outreach programs which have been adopted by schools and communities form part of the initiative which helps young people identify and counteract the root causes of violence in their lives. This campaign, which promotes a culture of peace, has now spread overseas. I just have tremendous optimism for the future and I think this is one of the greatest things about my practice, that, you know, that it does give me that, that that optimism because I'm aware of who I really am and I know I can affect change in my own life but in other people's lives. For me what's more important about being a teacher is nurturing young people and making them believe that they can make a positive contribution to society and to give them the confidence to follow whatever their dreams are. SGI believes that the empowering message of Buddhist humanism and the compassionate commitment and vision of young people 
can make the 21st century a century which cherishes life, where sustainability and the alleviation of suffering become universal concerns, and where, for future generations, world peace becomes a reality. Each person has the power to make a difference.